Okay, so short story. Um, my mentor always said you got to tell a story about where your music comes from. So I've always stuck with that. <clears throat> and so yesterday, my youngest turned eight. And so we were driving here yesterday and we were celebrating his birthday on the road. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, cool. he, so we told him, well, we'll extend it over the weekend since you have to sit in the car today. Wow. Anyways, um, so, <clears throat> so we're driving and it becomes relevant to me that it's a specific day. 21 years. Well, what's the 21 years? Well, and then there's 13 years. So let's go back 13 years when he was born. And then let's go back another eight, if I can do math right. So, and it was something that God made relevant to my heart during this time. And so um, what that is, is that on April 7th, 2003, uh, was known as a date in my life because what? Well, served in the military for roughly 14 years, medically retired. And then I transitioned to the real war and then I went to the pulpit, right? And so uh, a number of years later, God had made relevant to me that, um, um, and, and that's, that's a good thing, that's not a bad thing. So um, God made relevant to my heart. He was like, and, and it, I don't know how it went almost 13 years but that he was born on the same day where we had a mass casualty event and lost a number of people. And, and I remember we were driving towards this building when we um, had a surface-to-surface -surface missile take out half of the building. And so for a long time, that was a, a bad date on my calendar, you know? And so, like, if you do Facebook memories, it often pops up, and, you know... So 13 years later, God reminded me that you know, Romans 8, 28. He can bring anything good for those who love Him. Um, so, um, 21 years. So it's His birthday. And we get to spend it with you guys. So, thankful to be here. Um, and that leads me into uh, my first song. Um, you know, you think about 21 years. I've been chasing God more than 30 but it took me long enough to figure this song out um, so uh, you can hear it in Green Bay for those of you who are in Green Bay Q90 um, give them a little clap there um, you are enough when I'm in my feelings when I'm in my feelings And feel this way Feels like the strings on my heart been played Reminds me of feelings before I got saved No, it's not the case, but I got some questions Come on! Why does it seem like I gotta keep fighting myself? Gotta be kind over why I keep reminding myself Every day's a new day, hey New shiny grind, driving in a new lane Living in a new way, hey And your love, it got me feeling like a 5 one play When the problems pop up Calling me to live it well Just believe it This is more than just a Sunday feeling Lord, yeah, you got me reeling You are enough Yeah, yeah, you are enough Why is it I always let you down? I mess it all up trying to make it all right somehow why can't I just fall into your arms and breathe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forgive me for my doubt and my disbelief. It's like I'm walking in the sneakers with a crease. Yeah, I need your Holy Spirit now pouring over me. It's been a long, lonely journey and I need some peace. Walk away, never that. I ain't gonna lie, I need your help walking this path. So when doubt swirl around me and the people all around me are confounded. Hold my hands up and never look back. Just believe it. You are you 
are, you are enough What I discovered by your love For you and me there's no in between, you know My soul is gonna see Yeah, keep it rockin' my name one day one No one ain't just ready, go ahead and say one So you better get here before you break one Got the good news, nah, ain't no playing game, son It's called a walk of faith Take that flight, yeah When it's getting dark, dark and you can't see You gotta open up, trust and receive it Just believe it This is more than just a Sunday feeling Lord, yeah, you got me reeling You are enough Yeah, yeah You are enough Isn't that a good reminder? Not only that we are because of him, but because of him, I mean, well, he is, right? So, thank you. Now I can get that off. Were you guys as nervous as I am right now? Okay, so I don't feel like we're building some family networks here, right? Okay, now that we're family. Okay, thank you, my man. I love it. See, you got the color red. I like the color purple. Now, you're saying, okay, Cash, you're wearing all white. What does purple stand for? Royalty. Ooh. Yeah. What else does it stand for? Tabernacle. Prince. Okay. Prince. Is there a particular date where it turns purple? Good Friday. When the Vikings, Vikings lose. When Jesus... <laughs> I don't want to get too ecumenical here, but I grew up, and when I was in the military, I was a chaplain assistant. So we took care of everybody. You didn't have to be a believer, but that was our goal, to provide spiritual assistance to those overseas, you know, set up services, protect the chaplain, and then keep the chaplain from killing himself, right? Out of harm's way. Anyways, so I look at purple, um, I wrote a song called Kodak Purple, but I look at purple to explain it that way, is that Kodak is defined as a moment, right? Mm -hmm. And purple is the color it changes to when Jesus walks out of the grave. Yeah. So if you look at it as a puzzle, and then you flip the words, you make it Kodak Purple, and you make it Purple Kodak, it stands for Jesus moment. So, That's the moment. That I want to find myself in. Every day. Amen, bro. Not but me, but him. Yep. So, you were talking about names. I've got a name for God. Violent Violet. When the spirit blows, he doesn't gently change direction. It goes the other way, right? And I like to think that God made me a little like him. And so, um, 